Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Sunday. <laughs> Forgot what today was. Uh, the 14th of March, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because Monday is my mom's appointment and it's the 15th. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to show you my Knit Crate bag that I got. I already opened it because I have no patience. I actually got this Friday and I just haven't been... I've been busy and haven't had the time to record it. But anyways, I got my Knit Crate and they did have to switch out. See, February's was going to be themed, um, something to do with love. It's like heart something. I can't remember. <laughs> and then, you know, cause Valentine's Day. And then March's was going to be the unwind one, but they had an issue with their yarn shipments and, um, the March yarn was going to get to them before the February yarn, I believe is what it, what the issue was. <laughs> so they switched out the two themes. Anyways, so now March's is going to be the, the, um, the heart themed one. It's like, I think it's green and pink are the colors. And there's my bag. I ripped it open. <laughs> and, um, so this month's was the springy one for March, which was unwind. It says February because it's February's. But, uh, yeah, I think I explained that. <laughs> but anyways, uh, yeah, so it's got the information on the back of it. Same stuff every month. Uh, so the colorways, I'm not even, I mean, like, um, these are the, the membership colorways, and these were the sock crate ones, but the color I got doesn't look like it's from the membership one, unless it's this one right here, but super lot, because it's, that looks like a gray, and mine's gray, but mine's really pale gray, so I don't know, but here's mine. <laughs> it is Aldine Wools, and it's called Calm. I guess that's the color, because it doesn't have a color name on it. Oh yeah, it does this pillow. This is like the the type of yarn. And uh, the color name is pillow. 80% <laughs> wool, 10% silk, and 10% mohair. It's a DK weight. 231 yards each. So that's what, 462 yards together. Uh, gentle hand wash, blah, blah, blah. Made in Peru. That's cool. Yeah, so mine doesn't really match any of these. Because even the sock, the one that's light in the socks is like a pink color. So I'm not sure if it's that one right there. And it's just a really light one. Or what. But yeah, there's that. Now this is going to be a giveaway in the future. Because it's kind of rough filling. I do not, I'm an acrylic person. 100%. <laughs> I love me some acrylic and cotton. But mostly acrylic. But I'm a, I'm a groomy maker. And like a house decoration maker. So, you know, acrylic is totally right up my lane. I don't really make a lot of fancy garments to necessitate uh, wools and silks and cashmere and alpaca. can't use alpaca anyways because I'm allergic to it. <laughs> but this just, it has a different feel to me. I prefer acrylic, pers you know, just, just a personal preference. <laughs> so I always give away my neck crates. <laughs> I've given them all away, actually. My stack is completely empty. <laughs> but uh, this is going to be going over to my giveaway pile over there. And I'll give it away in, the, in a future video. I don't want to do it now because I'm so busy <laughs> lately. Um that I don't know for sure when I can get things out in the mail because Devin's been working so much and um, I'm busy doing behind the scenes type stuff and uh, you know being a mom and a wife <laughs> but yeah so I think it's a really pretty color because I love uh, gray gray goes with like everything I just don't like the feeling of it and it's real fibery I don't know if you can see it oh, my pale hand ain't gonna help any <laughs> can you see it's like fuzzy it's not really a halo it's just Harry. <laughs> it's Harry. How much wool is it again? It's like, it's 80% wool, so it's a lot of wool. But it's pretty, so it'll make a good giveaway one of these days. <laughs> I've seen um, people getting the green colors. I think Heather got one of the green. There's two different greens. I don't remember which one she got. The yellow would have been cool, but I, I don't think that's the same one, unless it's a different color. I don't know. But the extra this month was a, um, is a <laughs> little um, tape measure in the shape of a heart and on top of it on it it says all you need is yarn and it's on a cord so you can like wear it on your neck <laughs> so as soon as i opened this and i pulled this out jesse said since you have that one can i have your old one and i said okay <laughs> so the the knit crate one we got i think in 2019 that um had like a little christmas scene on it it's like quilted almost i don't remember which knit crate it came from i'm pretty sure it was in 2019 <laughs> he has that now it's in the living room. He's been playing with it. So this is mommy's. I need to cut the little zip tie off. I might be able to just pull it off. There. Problem's off. <laughs> so now I have me a fancy necklace one that I can wear when I need to measure hats and 
how tall amigurumis are. <laughs> but yeah, I will just put this on my little cart and I'll be able to use it whenever I need it. But yeah, so today I've been busy. I took a shower and on days that I don't wash my hair, this is how my hair looks. I put it in a ponytail and then clip it to my head <laughs> so it doesn't get wet. Anyways, that might be too much information. I, um, I just got done sewing. I did some extra sewing. I got all my orders packaged up and ready to go. Every if I'm if I'm sending you mail, whether it's a package or a mail that you know you're getting from me, <laughs> uh, it'll all be going out Tuesday, the 16th, because Devin is off work that day, and I'll be able to um, go to the post office. So it's all already packaged up and ready to go. I just got to get it uh, to the post office, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I got some amigurumis that I'm working on, Jesse got the tv loud i hope y'all can't hear it <laughs> but um yeah i don't know what i'm gonna do right now i'm kind of feeling rough jesse woke up this morning with uh allergies like crazy he had some a little bit last year and i was like oh crap because i have i'm allergic to like everything <laughs> i have so many allergies it's not even funny um not food allergies though just like environmental allergies and uh pretty much anything my skin is way too sensitive to like fragrant stuff and all that I have to be real picky Anyways, he woke up this morning, he was sneezing and sneezing and sneezing, and you could tell he had gunk in his throat, and his little eyes was just puffed up, and I was like, okay, I'm hoping he's not getting sick. Um, so I just got some of his aller uh, kid's allergy medicine, gave it to him, and uh, like an hour later, he was fine, so yay, he's got allergies. <laughs> Hopefully, they don't get too bad. Me and my brother had them really bad growing up. My brother had to get shots and stuff for him all the time, so uh, hopefully, he doesn't get that bad. Maybe it's just because it's spring. I saw on the on our news station that the pollen counts were really high this week, so maybe that's got something to do with it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, totally random. Did y'all get in it crate? <laughs> Which color did you get? <laughs> I really hope that one of the ones, when I get the, the March one, that's the, the uh, heart one, that TV is so loud. I'm, I feel like I'm competing with it. <laughs> uh, I hope I get one of the pink colors, because I think there's like it was like green and pink, or like a ready pink color. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> oh, even though I'm not going to keep it, I still like opening them, though. But yeah, do you see this sign? I've had this for years and years and years. I've had this since before me and Devin got together. It's also painted by a local artist. Um, I don't think they signed it. Nope. I have two of these. I have this one that says Stay Gold from The Outsiders, which is my favorite book ever. Uh, I, I commissioned it. I was probably like 19, I think. And the other one hangs this way. I don't know where it's at, but it has a Michael Jackson quote on it because I love Michael Jackson, like, a lot. Uh, it actually says, uh, before you judge me, try hard to love me. But yeah, I found this when I was cleaning out our storage unit after we got broken into. <laughs> can't remember I ever mentioned that, but our storage unit got broken into. They didn't steal anything because thankfully we only stored um, house stuff. But it still annoyed us enough that we went ahead and emptied it out and brought everything back home. Donated a ton of it. Let that break my window. But yeah, so that's two pieces of art that I have commissioned from local artists. <laughs> Could be the same one for all I know, because this the years are you know so far apart that I can't remember who I bought this from. I remember it was in a local art gallery where local artists could put their stuff to sell, and uh, I seen other ones that she had done. So I had emailed her and asked her if she did them, you know, like on commission. <laughs> if I could tell her what I wanted, and she could do it, and uh, so I got that one. And I told her to make it, to say stay gold and have like a sunset on it. So she did that and it's awesome. Anyways, <laughs> can you tell I haven't talked to you guys in forever? I'm feeling, I'm starting to feel like locked in. Devin's been doing so much overtime lately that I like never get to go anywhere and do anything. <laughs> Even though when he's off, all we do is go to parks and to grocery shop and then we're back home. But still, it gets a little tiresome. The only person you ever talk to is like a five, almost five year old boy. But uh, we're planning his birthday. I keep asking him what he wants and he keeps changing his mind. His birthday is May the 1st. He'll be five years old. And then a week later, on May 7th, I'll be 31. So we have our birthdays in the same week, which is fun. Uh, yeah, I guess that's everything. I guess I'm done. <laughs> it's supposed to be a new crate video. I ended up blabbing, but uh, I'm feeling locked in. I'm getting some like cabin fever or whatever. And I want to uh, get out. I gotta go turn the TV down because he's got it up really loud. But I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow, what is tomorrow? Tomorrow's Monday. I don't know what I'm going to film tomorrow. <laughs> I'll come up with something. <laughs> but anyways, I'll see you again. <laughs> then, again, I don't know what I'm saying. Bye, guys.